Hello guys and welcome back to some more free running. Today it's going to be an amazing video and where I'm going to show you where the H slide is actually useful in. Now we all know the H slide is pretty fast, but how fast actually is it? Today we're going to be comparing Stravos' world record infected time to what I have done for these shortcuts. Alright, so I'm going to commentate over uh, the editing I made, so it might be a little fast, so stick with me here. This is Stravos' uh, world record run right here. I'm going to pause it the screen right here because this is where he started the shortcut, which is 9.8 seconds around, and then his dismount is about 17. So this is about an 8 second shortcut he has performed. And then I'm going to show mine and compare the difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an H slide, which is a G slide and to an F slide. If you want to know how to do it, I have a tour on my, my channel if you, want, you guys want to see it. But here we go, start time is 154, and time is about 201. I know that's terrible times, right? But I spent like two hours doing this. I could do a lot better now. But overall, you're going to see, you can save about a whole second when doing this shortcut. I also know 218 on Infected, which is what I have right now currently, is terrible. But I have played Infected like hardly at all, so just give me a break, please. Uh, also, you guys can see, I could, I could have air strafed in between the two walls. So overall, you can optimize this move like even better than what I could do. So I'm going to say you save about between 1 second and 1.3 seconds. If your strap is good, it might be more. 1.5 seconds, who knows. But right there, you're saving a good second at least if you're able to pull this move off as good as shown right here. So there's only one more shortcut I really want to show off. There's a lot of little ones, but it might be for later. Uh, honestly, none of them share like as much time as these do. Uh, I'm just going to skip ahead, and if you guys want to see if I pause the time at the right time, go ahead and look back, but right here is what I kind of got for each of our times. Uh, right there I'm about 0.5 ahead, but as you see I didn't account for the time he spent climbing up to the wall, which is what I didn't do at all. So right there is with a rough sketch about how long it takes to do each one. So overall you're saving about 0.8 to 1 second, which is pretty crazy for that small distance covered. I'm sorry this video is going really fast. I edited it and I didn't really account for me talking at all. Um, right here I'm showing off all the shortcuts I could do with the H slide, but do not save any time at all. Um, actually some of them are the exact same as Stravos, which is pretty funny. Right here would have been better if you could perform like a wall bounce possibly. I'm not too sure if you can. Also this one right, or never mind, this is the gun one. But the one across from there with the water, might be better if I can do a wall bounce to the second wall. Who knows? In fact, it is nowhere uh, near done. I still want to find one big shortcut that hopefully will work. I'm not too sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed part one. Part two will be coming pretty soon, probably in a few days or so. And we'll cover Alpha, Sidewinder, and Blackouts. Uh, I'll probably share about one decent shortcut. But I'm going to keep adding parts if I find new shortcuts. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get sub 155 uninfected, sub 155 hype right here. I want someone to do it, that'd be awesome. Right now we're 159, which is not too far away, but definitely has some work to do. Hope you guys enjoy, and see you guys later, peace.